Dear audience, welcome to Nusfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. With today's news, I am Meron Gitacho. Stay with us. There is a long history of German military pilots helping the Chinese Air Force in the 1930s. Nazi Germany dispatched military advisors to help build and train the Air Force, the Air Force of the Republic of China, which was simultaneously fighting communist insurgents under Mao Zedong and the invading Imperial Japanese Army. China's German relations soared a few years later when Berlin allied with Tokyo and the Three-party pact. By then, however, Chinese pilots had not only been trained by the formidable German Air Force, but were also flying German-made bombers and fighter aircraft to attack the communists and Japanese. German fighter pilots are helping train China's Air Force once again. Several Luftwaffe pilots have been training Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force pilots over the past decades. The report quoted a named German security officials warning, it is very possible that the pilots have passed on military experts in confidential operation tactics and even practice attack scenarios such as an offensive against Taiwan and the German fears ex-pilot share secrets with China. Germany has officially conducted military training program with China in the past. Indeed, it is common for military to exchange technical and tactical experiences. It also not unusual for civil service members to take their unique skill seat to the private sector after they retire. But when it comes to China these days, these norms are getting a closer look. That was made clear recently by the strong reaction in German to report shining a light on an otherwise mended practice. A handful of retired German Air Force pilots have gone to China on lucrative private training contracts. Defense Minister Boris Pasteur, who was in Singapore attending a high-level defense summit when the story broke, could only tell his Chinese counterpart, Li Shangfu, that he expected this practice to be stopped immediately. This comes as a German government at the urging of the United States is re-evaluating its economic and strategic relationship with the world's second largest economy and growing military power. The defense minister must now do everything possible to end this practice. The rule for people who do their work for German state have access to secretly relevant information need to be urgently tightened. A legally grey era. The work itself does not violate any laws, but the legally grey zone leaves the German government with limited authority to stop this kind of knowledge transfer. Short of a clear case of sharing state secrets, however, a spokesperson for the German defense minister said that retired service members and other government workers are largely free to make use of their expertise. They are subjected to retroactive service obligations. According to the statement, those require them to report the work and maintain secrecy about matters that he or she become aware of. The ministry then conducted a conflict of interest check and can deny the employment if it finds any. The minister has expressed concern that the Chinese pilots are receiving not just basic fighting instructions, but information on NATO tactics and operational capabilities. It is unclear, however, if that would constitute a breach of confidentiality. In a statement, the South African school identified that CIPIC report denied it was geoparadizing any country's national security. All training aspects and material are strictly unclassified and provided either from one source of the claim themselves, a London-based communication consultory representing TFSA said. The employment of retired NATO pilots to train Chinese army may go back almost a decade. Observers of the People Liberation Army, China's armed forces, say that was long before the European Union classified China as a systemic rival and the U.S. national security strategy called China the only competitor with the means and desire to reshape the international order. But China has a long history of successfully using foreign know-how to accelerate its domestic powers. Western advances in academic and research industry technology and intellectual property have all found their way into Chinese equivalents. It is not a big leap to apply this effort to the defense sector. For the PLA, working with retired Western pilots allows them to refine their doctrine and it's essentially stealing secrets of Western countries, military exercises, NATO-wide issues. The German media report concerning German Air Force pilots can aim a flurry of similar coverage elsewhere. British and American pilots have also been cited for participating in Chinese training programs. Like in Germany, 
Germany, the British Parliament is considering tightening its laws that govern the matter. In a more extreme case, a former U.S. Marine pilot was arrested last year in Australia, where he now lives as a citizen of that country. He faces extradition to the U.S. on charges of conspiracy, arms trafficking, and money laundering in connection to an allied training assignment in China. He has denied any wrongdoing, saying the case against him was politically motivated as U.S.-China relations have deteriorated since his contract ended. And this was our news for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.